In today's news, science explains why he's a deadbeat dad. His balls are just too big. Hey friends, Lacey Green here for D News. This story is circulating everywhere, and let's be honest, it's at least partially because it has the word balls in it. Balls. <laughs> Whoa. Scientists at Emory University are saying they've discovered a link between how good of a father someone is with the size of their testicles. Is this bunk sensationalism? Or are they onto something? Let's take a look-see. So first, the scientists measured the testicles of the 70 participants, a job I know you all wish you could have. Then they were surveyed on their parenting. They were asked about things like changing diapers, taking charge of bath time, taking children to the doctor, feeding them, comforting them, you know good dad 101 stuff. The scientists also did an MRI scan on the men while showing him pictures of their own kids. So what they found was that the smaller his testicles, the more likely the guy was to be actively involved with his kids. And the MRI scan, while they were looking at the pictures of their kids, showed that guys with smaller testicles were more likely to have higher activity in the ventral tegmental area of the brain. That's the area that's linked to nurturing. So. There you have it, some of the most convincing data yet that ball size could be a result of competing evolutionary mating strategies. Those competing strategies being the big ball strategy, make lots of babies and don't care a whole lot, and the small ball strategy, have fewer babies that you take good care of. It's that sneaky old quantity versus quality rivalry, and from a survival of your offspring standpoint, both are effective strategies for different reasons. But where there are people measuring the diameter of balls, there may be weirdness. For the most convincing data yet, there are still some essential missing pieces. If you're a regular around here, you've probably heard the mantra before, and you'll probably hear it again. Like now, correlation doesn't imply causation. Just because big balls correlate with less involved parenting doesn't mean you can look at a dude's testicles and know what kind of dad he's gonna be. That would be whack. There are other factors at play when it comes to parenting. Parenting falls under the umbrella of social behavior, but social factors influencing what kind of a dad someone becomes were left out of the equation. Here. There's also the possibility that involved parenting makes the testicles get smaller. We know that parenthood lowers testosterone in men and that testicle size can fluctuate. So, hasn't been ruled out. We're gonna need some more research for that. But in the meantime, we can giggle about the word balls because that's what testicle science is all about. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll be back really soon with more D News Science updates coming at you every day, twice a day. Let me know what your thoughts are down below or on Twitter at D News. Bye bye.